first days, first weeks were harder. And here the situation is quite different. I was not expecting all this. Um, I got lost several times at the beginning. One little piece of advice, be patient. Take it easy, breathe in, and you'll get through this. So my biggest struggle was finding friends. Obviously, when you move to a new city, you want to socialize with some new people, to go out. I participated in new um, events that were for uh, foreigners. And it's very easy to make friends. You go out, you meet new people, you, of course, you live with other people in the flat, you share the same experiences, everybody is very social, outgoing. So definitely, it wasn't a problem after all. For me, the biggest challenge moving abroad, and especially to Barcelona, which is a big city, was that I was living in a smaller town in Germany. I got lost with the transportation, um, I was used to going by bike in my hometown all the time, with my friends living quite close to me, so yeah, it was just like totally um, new to me that I had to take the metro even half an hour to go to some friend's place. But uh, I got super used to it, like you find your way after a few weeks and uh, then it's all normal actually, like uh, there's several transportation possibilities like even bikes, buses, metro, so there's no problem at all anymore. And also in big city opens way more opportunities, so yeah, you have more nightclubs, more bars, more restaurants, more international people. Big city is super cool to live in and also a great opportunity to experience some new things that you didn't have in your old town maybe. One of the main struggles you may face when you arrive in Barcelona or in other cities of Spain is to get um, the NIE, which is the Numero de Identificación de Extranjeros. This number is going to be very useful if you want to live in Spain, especially if you need to open a bank account, rent a flat or even if you want to buy a car. And in order to get that number, you need first a cita previa, which is an appointment. Go online on one of the government's website and try to book this appointment. However, you may really face some struggles, especially as the website is always saturated. So let's say that at any time of the day or even in the middle of the night, you try to get this appointment, cita previa again, it's not going to work. So I would definitely advise you when you arrive in Barcelona, as soon as you get the job, as soon as you have the offer letter, I would advise you to contact one of the agencies that can get you the Cita Previa. The cost is going to depend on whether they come with you um, to the appointment or if they translate some documents for you or if they just book you the Cita Previa. But either way, it's going to be really a um, lifesaver. Before moving abroad, I was very nervous how will I find accommodation here in Barcelona, but actually it was very easy. Two to three days I spent in a hostel and uh, just sold the accommodations uh, that I pre-selected using the websites and the apps. So you can see with whom you will live after all and uh, you can check if uh, they are like-minded people or not. After all, I would say it's not a big deal and uh, still we can give you advice. Hey, don't worry, you will find accommodation here. So my biggest struggle when I actually moved abroad for the first time was to actually live with roommates. I had always lived with my, with my family where actually, well, uh, things and the rules were running by themselves. And so when you arrive in Spain and you actually need to share a flat with people, there are some common rules to respect, such as the cleaning or who is buying this type of products or you know who is do, doing the dishes. And it's true that um, maybe I was not expecting all this and I would just help myself into the fridge. Uh, whatever was there or leave my dishes where they were thinking I could um, clean them another time and so obviously when you live with other people this doesn't work at some point I had to adapt and at the end yeah it uh, it kind of worked out and, and you learn from that for me the hardest part was adjusting to a new routine so basically before coming here I was in Italy so during all my day I was writing my thesis and like seeing my friends 
I was like actually also going to um, a very specific place uh, that I really like when I want to relax and that was pretty cool for me. Coming here in Barcelona, uh, I needed to adjust to a new routine because uh, I graduated some months ago so I didn't have to write my thesis anymore, I would just have to work and I needed to understand what to do after the office hours. So with that I started to uh, go to the gym and uh, also playing a lot of sports. Uh, and I found it pretty easy actually here because it's a very big city and you have a lot of opportunities and also there is also the sea that is pretty similar to what I have at home and this is pretty cool actually and when I want to relax I really want to go there and yeah just see the sea maybe with a beer <laughs> and it's pretty nice. For me the biggest challenge moving abroad was the greetings actually because I'm a German we are always greet with a handshake especially if we don't know the people and uh, now here in Barcelona, everyone wants to greet me with a uh, kiss on the cheek. So I really had to get used to it in the beginning. I was always giving the people my hand and they would kiss me and yeah, it was confusing. But now I got used to it and actually I think it's maybe a good thing for the Germans to show some emotions. <laughs> and yeah, even now when I greet my German friends, uh, we also kiss on the cheeks and I like it. <laughs> So one thing I needed to adapt to is the beer, because in Germany we have lots of different types of beer and here the situation is quite different. You have like a few big brands which are quite good but they are not the same. So in the end I had to adapt because I can't find my favorite beer, which is to be honest not even German, it's from Czech Republic, it's the Czech Budweiser. Um, but in the end Estrella and San Miguel are very nice beers and Spain is the country of wine, so I started drinking wine here. One of the challenges that I have faced from moving to Spain is actually getting used to this take it easy note. Sounds kind of controversial, right? It should be easy to take it easy. Well, not when you're used to a really fast-paced environment. One of the examples for me was actually, for example, standing in a supermarket queue. You'd usually expect to stand in line and get checked out as soon as possible. But in Spain, be ready to face a situation when an employee who is supposed to scan your product and comes another one and starts a gossip girl kind of conversation not paying attention to you at all. This is not because they're not friendly, it is exactly because they are. So just take it easy, breathe in, and you'll get through this. Bye!